Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create a private GK cluster along with VPC, CloudNet and finally using the Bastion host we are going to connect with private GK cluster. So let's directly jump into the GCP console. So let's first create the VPC. Uh, by default we have the default VPC, let's ignore and create new one. I can give the name as my first VPC and then uh, create a new subnet first we'll create a public subnet and we'll select the region as a US central one and uh, IPv4 range as 10.10.10.0 slash 24 let me just correct it 0 slash 24 okay and then yeah keep this as a private off because this is a public subnet okay and let's click on the done section now let's create another subnet which is a private subnet let's me type private subnet okay select the region as same us central one now select the private google access on because this is our private subnet select done okay now we have our public subnet in place and private subnet in place now in firewall rule we have to allow the ssh that's 22 port select this and just create it so it will take a couple of seconds to create so we can just wait for this now you can see it is appeared as my first VPC. So you can see the subnets are created and firewall on um, one firewall rule we have created that is for the allow SSH rule on port 22. Here you can see yeah it's 22. Okay. Now let's create a GK cluster. Uh, select on the cluster, then create a new cluster. Uh, I'm going to give the name as uh, my cluster. Uh, let me just edit this. Uh, select the region as US Central One. Keep as it is. In network section, select your VPC which we have created, and select as a private subnet. And here, select the private cluster. So, okay. And I'm just going to keep the rest of the setting as it is, and select on create one so while creating GK cluster uh, we can create a compute engine so uh, yeah it's still creating uh, let's create a compute engine I'll click on the create instance I am going to give the name as a Bastion host here. So let me just type this Bastion hyphen host. Select the region as US Central one. In zone you can choose anything. Uh, and after this we need to allow the firewall for the HTTP traffic. And apart from this in advanced options we have to select the networking uh, networking interface as a VPC which we have created in the first step and select the sub network as a public subnet okay, so once this is keep the rest of the setting as it is once it is done so let's create this one in the meantime let's create a cloud net also Search for the cloud net. Mm, let's start it. Select the gateway name, uh, which is nothing but our first net we are going to create here. Keep this as a public. Select the region as US Central One. Create a router. I'm giving the name as my router here. Okay. Uh, select the region and create it. And here change this as a custom and select the private subnet here. 
yeah and keep as appearance selected all and then just select on create one so let's jump back to the uh, compute engine because gk is still the takes time to create now let me just refresh this one okay it's created uh, now i'm doing just directly ssh first we need to install the uh, kubectl so let's uh, just install the kubectl from the official documentation we have the steps for the installing this kubectl binaries okay let me just copy this one paste it here okay and to install this we can skip the validation part and install this one here just copy this command and paste this okay uh, to verify this uh, we can check kubectl version hyphen hyphen client let me run this yeah it is installed right now okay so i have one list uh, what we have required first install the kubectl then install the cloud cli install the cloud cli let's just copy this existing command sudo apt get install google cloud cli gk auth plugin so once this is installed uh, run the next command which is gcloud init gcloud init enter and select the number two option sign in with the new google account Select yes, continue. Just copy this uh, URL and paste in, paste it in your browser. Let me just copy this. Control C. Yeah. Uh, select your existing account. Select on continue. Allow. And just copy this token. And paste this here. Verification code. Yeah. And select your project after that. And just select the configuration as default region yes and select the region in which we are created the gk cluster so it was in us central yeah, us central one it was option eight okay so this is configured so these two steps are necessary to install the uh, to connect with the gk cluster so let's check our gk cluster is created or not if it's still creating let me just pause the video okay let's copy paste the command g cloud container cluster okay just copy this command okay so let's verify using the kubectl get pods to check if we can see uh, the pods from the private GK cluster so you can see some of the pods are in running or pending state and kubectl get nodes yeah we can see the nodes also so let me just quickly create one nginx image to verify if it is running kubectl run nginx fn fn image equal to uh, okay equal to nginx Okay, you can see it is in created. Uh, let's just watch kubectl get pod. It will take some time as the cluster is in the auto autopilot mode. So it will just going to take some time to pod into the running state. So let me just watch this. kubectl get pods. Uh, continuous in creating state keeps it get pods hyphen watch yeah it's in the running states so this is how we are going to connect with the gk private cluster using the bastion host so thank you guys for watching this and don't forget to subscribe and just a reminder don't forget to 
delete the resources as well so thank you guys again